back from the shoe i haven't actually explained like at all what the shoe is or what i'm doing or anything like that but basically this isn't really where i was going to announce it but i'm doing a collab with the little dessert shop i'm gonna do a proper talking clip tomorrow because like i said the literally all you would have seen is behind the scenes from the shoe but it is now 4 42 and we've warmed up it was freezing guys we were shooting inside of an old mill and they had heaters and stuff but obviously i was in like tiny little mini dresses i feel like i've only just warmed up now and we finished shooting like an hour ago but we're gonna go to lucky cat this evening which is gonna be really nice i'm gonna take everyone out for dinner as a little thank you for coming on the shoot with me and it's all well it's everybody else's first billboard and our first like billboard as a group so it's really exciting and lucky cat we've never been there before actually Oh, that's Ryan and Tia. Yeah, we've never been to Lucky Cat before. It's like an Asian restaurant. It's like a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. So I'm really, really excited to have some sushi and just some nice, nice food. All I've had today is a KFC. So yeah, I'm really excited. But I'm just trying to warm up. I've got my hoodie on. And how amazing does my hair look, by the way? I am gagged. Alicia, shout out to you and Danny on the makeup. I am obsessed. <laughs> It's probably going to make more sense if I actually tell you what I'm doing because you probably just saw all of that campaign shoot that I was doing was like, what is she modeling for? I am actually bringing out my own box with Little Dessert Shop and here it is. It is called the My Love Box and it is Little Dessert Shop by Anastasia, which is just so exciting. This is probably like the most on-brand collab for me ever because I love food and I always talk about food on my channel. So to finally have a collab that involves food is just like so ridiculously perfect. If you haven't actually heard a little dessert shop before, they have 40 plus stores across all of the UK, but they are also offering postal with this box. So you can order the box wherever you are in the UK and you can get it. Obviously it is perfect for Valentine's Day, which is really exciting. That's why I've collabed with them for it, but it's going to be running for a month. So you guys can get lots of dessert for the next month. This is the box here. It is called My Love. And I'm going to be honest, I have cleared the majority of this box, which I probably shouldn't have done before I filmed the announcement video but here it is there's a little tub of chocolate in the middle and then i'm just going to read off my phone so i get like the exact names right if you are ordering it in store it is going to be 29.95 and you get american brownie bites miniature chocolate chip cookies strawberry milkshake fudge pieces fresh strawberries and an eight ounce chocolate pot and you can choose from hazelnut milk salted caramel white or white hazelnut and then if you want to order it so a postal box which is still going to look the exact same you're also going to get the brownies the chocolate chip cookies the strawberry milkshake fudge pieces but you're going to get instead of fresh strawberries these cute little chocolate hearts they're strawberry chocolate hearts with crumble and white chocolate pieces and then you're also going to get an eight ounce pot of chocolate that you can actually melt at home there's also going to be a little card that is signed by me in the box as well but this is just the most exciting collab and i cannot wait to actually go into the store there's a couple in manchester so one in cheatham hill and one in oldham and i can't wait to actually go in and see my face all on the walls and like eat my own dessert it's going to be the weirdest thing ever and obviously Obviously my friends are all in on the campaign with me as well. So there's going to be a billboard in Manchester with our faces on, which is going to be crazy. And I'm having my own little like launch party for it. It is just a dream collab come true. So little dessert shop, thank you so, so much. I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on these boxes. Make sure you follow them on Instagram as well because they're posting like all of the updates over there. But the boxes are available to buy and order now. So I will leave a link down below. But yeah, just super, super exciting. Just wanted to chuck that in here. I'm going to be eating a lot of these over the next month. I feel like obviously for valentine's day it is perfect for like an at-home date night or just if you want to get it as a present for someone like it's perfect for galentine's as well not just valentine's but also it's perfect for any occasion because like i will have dessert any day of the week but yeah just wanted to chuck that in here so little dessert shop thank you so much for asking me to do this collab with you i love you guys i've been having their desserts now for the last three years it's living in manchester and let me tell you they are top tier like nothing else comes close you've got a scarlet on your face no i don't so it's not a scarlet one You've got mascara. No, I don't. You're a liar. What the hell? I don't have anything on my face. Oh, my bin's full. What are you doing with that? My <laughs> bin's full. So I can't actually bin it. Why is my makeup wipe in it? You could empty it. It's your house. <laughs> First, I would love to stay in my own bed. Why would you stay in my own? Why would I leave? Because of my bed. My house <laughs> to walk over to yours. My it's... bed's so much comfier. Yeah, but that's so long when my bed is be like 10 feet away. Do you know, me and Fry had this conversation yesterday. I actually think my bed is the comfiest bed I've ever got. I just don't know. I also think that's a bad thing though, because I don't mind really want to get up. Yeah, that is true though, because Fry said in my bed last 
Where are we? Oh, I would check them. Should we mess it up for work and then get up for work because the bed's just like comfy? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it upsets me. And you always say it as well. Like, yeah, it's too comfy. Like, why are we? I really want to watch that new film. Have you seen it on Netflix? What? The one with Kevin Hart. What's it called? I can't remember. It's on the opening page of Netflix. You set an alarm time. I have an alarm set every day. I have an alarm set every day, but you never wake up. I know, yeah. It's a fun game I like to play with myself. Like, could you could have a responsibility today, or like, are you going to choose to be an adult, or are you going to choose to ignore all your responsibilities and just lay like, down? Good morning everyone, it is the next day and I am actually about to head to the gym, hence why I'm still looking very barefaced. Managed to keep my extensions in though. No, it really isn't the best thing to sleep in clipping extensions, but at least just did them so now I just say like, I can't part with this hair. And we're going to Bissett Village tomorrow and I really want it to last. So I'm going to attempt to do a gym session with the clippings in. Fingers crossed this is actually going to work. But Byron is actually coming to our gym today, which is going to be nice. We're going to have like a really long gym sesh. He's going to show me how to use some of the machines and show me some of his workouts that he actually does as well which is going to be a nice little change and then we're going to go to the pool and the sauna and the spa so realistically are the hair extensions going to last i'm not sure but i've just packed my gym bag should i show you what's in my gym bag i mean i might as well whilst i'm here i might as well show you what's in my gym bag it's really not much oh that is byron at the door so i'm just gonna to have to go and answer i've got literally my water bottle my towel my bikini these i've got a nice little grenade bar to have um before i go into the spa and then my headphones that is literally it byron and i have just gotten to the gym changing rooms are so empty today normally there's always a load of people in here but apart from someone taking a shower i'm currently the only person i'm actually really excited for a good workout today like and i've got all my stuff after as well to have a pamper shower with which is going to be so fun but yeah i'm going to go do a workout first i'm going to go and do 30 minutes on the treadmill and then whatever byron's going to make me do ignore the fact that we've got love island blasting in the background but i have just made me and byron a post gym meal it looks very post gym meal we've literally got broccoli salmon rice and some avocado and then i think i haven't used this in ages do you remember when i was speaking about this in the vlogs the truffle mayonnaise i'm gonna have this all over but yeah this is our dinner we have eaten dinner and i am gonna unbox my new camera so this is the camera it's the power shot v10 and i have ordered the vlogging starter kit i literally just ordered the exact same one that byron got probably could have got it to be honest without the vlog and start a kit but i've never had like a muff or anything on my camera i've never really been that into cameras to be honest but hopefully this was actually gonna be a little bit better oh my god my nail just popped off oh, i meant to open the box and my full nail just got off ow oh lots of stuff inside this box girlies we've got the camera itself we've got the sd card a lens cap my little muff things for the wind oh and it comes with a little bag as well to be honest this is actually gonna be the easiest thing in the world to set up but i think i might switch to this camera for tomorrow's <coughs> vlog it might not be very good to be honest because <coughs> byron's just dying we were reading the reviews on this camera we played about on byron's and stuff and byron showed me this video and i don't know how good it is like when i'm out and about walking holding it because this camera that i have has quite a good like stabilization setting on so it doesn't look too what's the word jolty like juddery i think you guys know what i mean shaky shaky that's the word that i was looking for whereas i feel like this camera is going to be better for like clips like this where it's just sat just because it's going to be a wider angle here she is it's a little bit smaller actually than the one that i film on now it doesn't really look like a, like it doesn't look like it should be a camera but the screen flips up and then it comes with a little like tripod built on it so when i'm in a restaurant i can just stand the camera up like that i feel like i'm going to get better at vlogging in public now as well because it doesn't really look like a camera so i don't really i don't know the screen isn't as big so I feel like it's not as obnoxious as the one that I have so I don't really mind about that like, holding it up but I'm gonna set this up now and then the next clip you're gonna see is gonna be on this camera and just put my nail back on because what the f*** is that? It's so much later it's literally like half one in the morning and we're setting off at 10 tomorrow so I need to wake up at 8. Byron's just decided to get in the shower now I have no idea why but I am just planning my outfit for tomorrow because I want to try and get a cool picture whilst we're at Bissa Village I feel like my Instagram is slacking a little bit at the moment I will um pop it up on screen here so you can see what appreciate the follow because i've been posting quite a bit on instagram stories anyway not for you posts but i'm gonna be um, so i'm just trying to plan an outfit to take a picture in but i've got this this is new from jd london i really really like it it's super warm and obviously like the majority of Bista Village is outside so I need to be warm and I also got this new bag from Ego and it's a nice little Bottega dupe and I thought I could wear 
That's so cute when it's burning his nose. I thought I could wear this with that. Maybe some jeans. Do I wear black jeans or do I wear blue jeans? This is an outfit crisis. Just ignore my hair. I've literally taken all my extensions out because I was going to recurl it and then I thought I actually can't be bothered to recurl it. I'd rather just sleek it in the morning. So it is looking pretty crazy. But I love this bag so much. Oh gosh, it's not even fitting on my shoulder. Hang on. I love this bag. It's so nice. Like I feel like it's the perfect size because it's a bit bigger but it fit like it fits so much in but like when i go to find something in the bag i can find it perfectly fine i really really like it she's a sleigh so i'm definitely gonna take that bag definitely gonna wear that jacket now i just need to decide i'm gonna wear black jeans blue jeans maybe try to wear a white top and then what shoes oh really don't like planning outfits i love wearing really cool outfits but planning them it's a stress we're going out in northern quarter actually on friday and i've got a really cool outfit from jaded as well which i'm excited to wear i'm gonna freeze my absolute tits off but i'm very excited to wear it so obviously you guys will see that on Friday, but I just want, I want to get my outfit sorted now so I can stay in bed longer in the morning. Good morning, everyone. As you can probably tell, well, at least I hope you can tell, I am recording on my new camera and look how wide the angle is. It just looks so much better. Anyway, we're up bright and early. We're actually up a little bit earlier than I expected. I did that on purpose to make sure that we actually got up in time. But we are off to Mr. Village today. I'm going to show you my outfit of the day. This is what I was panicking about last night and I actually really like the outfit. Here is the outfit. I've just got on my... My white fox jeans, you can't actually see my shoes. I've got these shoes on. And then I've got on my new jacket from JD London, my bag from Ego, and then just a little white top from PLT. Nice little basic outfit, but I've got to keep warm because Bissa Village is all outside and it is going to be freezing. It's like that deceiving weather where it looks really warm because the sun's out, but it's actually the coldest it's ever been. Guys, I'm loving this wide angle so much. Are Guys, I'm loving this wide angle so much. Are you not though? I just feel like well, I when am, we do car yeah. videos, it's gonna be elevated. Anyway, we're off to Vista. We're just waiting for Tia and we're gonna get some food because we haven't eaten and I had no milk in the house for cups of tea. That is the real drama of today. That is the real drama of today. I don't understand why you don't have milk and I think milk's such a generic thing to have it. Because I don't really have cereal that much to warrant needing milk in. You I can also get don't... one of them little tiny ones for guests. I've never seen that before. You can get mini milk. That's so ridiculous. Obviously, I know you can get one. Yeah, but you wouldn't have one of them if you're having cereal every day anyway. Yeah, I would. No, don't get I wouldn't buy four pint of milk for myself. I think that's a waste. Look at my shoes. Look at your shoes. Do you know what I mean? No, yeah, no, I won't have... Uh, I don't really remember. Lip, I won't ever pint. buy a pint of milk for myself either. I'm speaking of breakfast. Look at these I made earlier. Ah! This body! <laughs> they were, no, you can't eat that Byron. They're only, to be fair, like, oh, you can if you want to. They're only a couple of nights old. My car is actually very clean, guys, apart from this one Domino's box that I have. Because we went to a viewpoint the other night and we had Domino's before that, so I picked up the Domino's to bring with us. That one more than through the night before. That was. Look at look at it. Yeah. You looked so mysterious, like hey, you did for us. Oh my god, I ordered the camera as well. <gasps> you got it as well? Yeah, I did, and I really couldn't afford it. I had a stock. <laughs> Ripplet, your camera can go there next time we can oh, have yeah. them all in a little ride. <laughs> it's delivered today. It's delivered today? Yeah. <gasps> Slayed. Can't wait. Alright girlies, we're off to get some food. And then we're off to Mr. Village. Is that nice? Yeah, we'll live there. You're probably going to get shit, Sam. I know, yeah. I only They're really bad. I didn't miss the toilet. Alright. What what the There's some old Domino's cookies down there. Oh, I need to take one. Anyway, bye. Let's see if we've got the concoction there. <gasps> I think the egg can't slightly make it feel more breakfasty though. This McDonald's put it right. The cheese is like melted perfectly on mine. That'd be actually one of the best that I've ever had. Why do we turn into food connoisseurs every time? Like, <laughs> why do we speak about it like as if they're gonna care? <laughs> but that's sarcasm. Like this? Yeah. No, it's actually just one of the best that I've ever had. It's really good though. Mm. We do say that about everything though. Like, every food is better than the last. <laughs> I'm so easily pleased though. Like, I'm the least picky person ever. Same. Anyway. How long to drive? Six hours. <laughs> <laughs> we have arrived at Bissa Village. It is freezing, like actually freezing. However, it's really not that busy. I think this is the first time I've come to Vista Village and there's barely anybody here, which is so nice. Um, I have no idea if I'm gonna buy anything. Hopefully I will buy a little something considering we've driven three hours, but oh. Going in Fendi now. Right, we're in the White Company. We've been in loads of shops and nothing is really screaming our name. However, we found some pillows, which we probably could have got in Manchester to be fair, but they are incredibly soft. This one, the duck feather one, is oh, insane. Too soft. too soft. Yeah, I like a bit of a firm pillow. Really? Oh my god, yeah, it's incredible. Like no. Say so that is how much is that one? Oh, it's £23 from 35 Same, they're so soft. I want to buy it, but I don't want to carry it around, so I'll put it on the way back. Right, we're in Bottega and I'm trying these on, but in a burgundy to match my nice little fake Bottega bag I got from Ego, but I've fallen in love with these. They're actually men's, but I think they are so fun. But in the burgundy, they are amazing. Guys, I have no big toes. Please ignore that. It fell off back in the summer, but I really like these. These might have to be purchased. 
This also might be slightly controversial. Not a lot of people I feel like are gonna like these, but I think these are actually amazing. These are from Miu Miu. My God, they're so comfy as well. I have made a purchase from Bottega. I will show you what I got when we sit down somewhere. Actually, no, I'll do a little haul when I get home because it's freezing and we're just trying to look for a restaurant to go to for some like late lunch, early dinner. Yum, our food has arrived. We all actually went for the exact same meal. We got spaghetti bolognese, except I've got pasta pieces and Tira Byron got like actual spaghetti. I'll be honest, my arancini looks absolutely fried. It looks charcoal, but hopefully it's gonna taste nice. Oh, that is something. Mm. Oh, oh, incredible. Guys, we're back in Bottega. We finished our food and that's not Byron behind me. I thought that was Byron. Can't work out what I'm filming on this camera yet because the screen is so small. But Byron is buying some shoes after a long, hard debate <laughs> of is he going to buy shoes or not? I think he is in fact going to buy the shoes. I feel like he's going to so. go to the counter and be like, uh, No, we'll be uh, we'll driving home on the way home. Like, oh, girls, we need to turn back around. Turn back around. I want to send two shoes back. But they're really nice shoes. So I'm going to treat in ourselves. It was Blue Monday this week. So that's my excuse. Oh. Apparently, it's the saddest day of the year. Yeah. When was Monday? Three days ago. Did you feel sad on Monday? I was actually quite sad. It was Blue Monday. Yeah, do it right. sec, do it sec. And now we're happy. Yeah, it's like, slayed. Hmm? Bigger. Bigger. Nobody said that. I was gonna say, I was like, wait, what? No one just said they were bigger. No. Can I take them, please? <gasps> He's actually doing it. Yay. Right, purchases have been made and my nail just popped off again. I've lost it. This is gross, guys. I need to go to the nail shop ASAP and go and get my nails fixed. That might have to be a tomorrow job, but inside my handbag, I always keep nail glue just in case. I might actually get, I want a bit of a burgundy red hype at the moment. I might actually get burgundy nails when I go to the nail shop tomorrow. I think that's a good idea. I'm loving that idea. Are you loving that idea? <laughs> Are you liking that idea, Tia? I love that idea. All right, girls. I get mine done, but my nails are like 13 year old boys why 13 no i did not <laughs> they don't I have natural nails like I them. Babe. oh thank you 16 year old boys 12 year old oh, yeah but there's length on them um yeah Mis misshapen length i <laughs> think on yours on that one looks like i mean it has just popped life up. nail like mummified mine look like mummified. a smoke they don't look like that normally i've stained them red off and have, having red nail varnish on oh did you paint them and yeah and i've stained them the struggles of being a girl you should be the natural struggles like me being a girl. you're not i ain't got enough on my nails all right baby just take a look at just What's in here? Just a bit of shit. What's in where? It's popped off. Yeah, because you were being rude to me. I was being rude. <laughs> no, it must have popped off. Like it must have popped off. It must have popped off on your body because I didn't hear it. Time. There it is. Can you see it? It's stuck to my jeans. You're so welcome. Rat girl. Rat girl. Let it go tacky. You look like Rodney. Oh, I've dropped it again. What the? Biggest design, just not the I know, why are you putting it, who are you putting it on for? Myself. But you're gonna get them redone yeah, tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're gonna, gonna have to scrape all that glue okay. off your nail. No, they're doing a nail shop. Yeah, they're gonna have to scrape oh. all that. Oh my <laughs> god, I think that bag's haunting me though. What the? Oh, again. Galax has just posted wearing it. But my shoes are nice. But your shoes, exactly, your exactly. shoes are nice, you don't need it. Oh, that's really expensive. <laughs> it's like too bad. I don't need it, it's ugly. But yeah, if you really want something, just be like, I don't need it, it's ugly. It's literally so ugly. It's so ugly. I've never seen an uglier bag. You just don't need it at all. Oh. oh my god, whose baby is that? I don't know. Probably not going to focus if this camera's great. Oh, okay. Why are you slagging this camera if it's first day he's ever used? I oh, know. I think I'm just scared to look back at the footage and be like, is it actually going to be nice or not? Let's get back to Manchester so we can show our purchases. Three, two, two one. one. I wish you could actually just turn the car and it went boom. I'll be back in Manchester. Uh, okay, bye. See you, Manchester. We have just stopped off at the services to come and get some food because we're all starving again. This is such a good oh, we don't shot. know what to get. Yeah, on the way here, guys, we were basically planning our dream service station and we were like, oh, what would we have in our dream service station? And I said I would have a Panda Express, which is American, because I love it. I'd have a Taco Bell and then maybe a McDonald's or a KFC. And we had to pick two shops as well. And I said Target, mini Target, it's per American shops and something else. We haven't decided yet, but we need to get food. I need something. They have a McDonald's over there. They do have a little noodle place, so I might get one of those. I'm so confused, that woman. <laughs> she didn't, she didn't shout at me. No, yeah, same, but she was on the phone. She went, oh, I've just been on bloody camera. <laughs> Sorry, babe. I think so. With all the Love Islanders. 
Yeah. We're walking towards McDonald's. I guess we're getting McDonald's then. We're back getting another McDonald's. We don't need another McDonald's. I don't know why this has happened. But we do if we're hungry though. But we do if we're hungry, exactly. But you need food if you're hungry, that's what I mean. So like... Exactly. We're back from Mr. Village and I am gonna do you guys a haul of the bits that I got. So I picked up three things whilst I was there. I actually got the thing from Bottega for like a little present for myself for the little dessert shop collab. Because every time I do something like really exciting in my career, I always treat myself just to something nice, like as a little milestone and just something to remember the time by. So that is what I got that for. These are just random purchases, but I got a new bath mat. I feel like all the things that I've been buying recently have been super practical, which is nice. But I literally got. So, how many times have you said practical in your. Know, what I got for Christmas video? Did I? Yeah. Yeah, well, this is very, also very practical. I got a white bath mat. And then I also got some new bed pillows because my bed pillows are nice, but they're not like. Like super nice. This like one I'm, that's so hard. Yeah, like I have a couple of memory foam ones which I really like, but other than that, they're just really random pillows that I've just had like for however many years. And these were on sale for thirty pounds for two, and they're duck feather pillows. And I just thought they would be lovely and nice and soft. And when I was in the shop, I was really enjoying how soft they felt. So I'm really excited about those. And then we have got the main event. We have got my Bottega shoes. These might not be to everybody's taste, and I can completely appreciate that. I actually hadn't even like ever seen these before. I went today, but as soon as I saw them, I was like, I think I need them in my life. Like, they're gorgeous. They're obviously a summer shoe or a shoe to wear around the house until summer comes because they are a shoe that you can't wear socks with. Therefore I would freeze right now. But obviously I was showing you guys earlier, my little dupe bag from Ego, they're gonna match perfectly. So here is the box. And then inside, I've got my little um, dust bags in there, which I'm actually gonna keep for when on holiday and I'm taking these shoes with me. But these are actually men's. I love them so much. I think they're the sickest sliders ever. They're like cushiony, like they're really soft. And I just absolutely love the color of them. Like they had these in a darker green, a black, this burgundy, and then another color. And normally I would always opt for like black and everything, getting like super classic colors, but the black just felt like very plain. Whereas this color I felt like just looked a little bit more expensive. I don't know. I just really, really, really liked them. And obviously because I got them from Vista Village, literally got them for more than 50% off, which is amazing. But yeah, I love these and they match my bag, which made me so happy. So I'm gonna call and show my mum these. So I'm gonna be like, why have you sliders but i was saying like even in the summer like when i'm just like not even on holiday just in manchester walking just around town and stuff with these on but with some jeans or like flowy trousers or whatever i think they're just gonna look really cool and i want to try and like get some get some cool new clothing items but when i mean clothing items i more mean like cool shoes and cool bags just accessorize more basic outfits with so yeah very 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 excited by these i cannot wait to wear them and they are my purchase from vista village that was a lovely little day out and now we're all back at mine and we're gonna sit and watch Love Island because we've missed we've missed it I think yeah we have it's 9 34 so we're gonna watch it on catch up but yeah just wanted to show you my sliders because awesome Right now is really one of those moments where I was kind of pinching myself about where I actually live. I just looked out of my window and I was like, this is the most beautiful sunset. But like it's gone down a little bit now because I just didn't want to get the camera out. I was just like, staring at it, but it looks incredible. Like I just can't believe this is currently outside my bedroom window. Look at the state of me. I've just gone out of the shower. Hence why my hair is in this weird bun. But it is the next day and I am actually about to get ready to go out for some drinks. I'm really excited actually. I feel like we haven't been out for drinks drinks like our friendship group for so long we're just getting to that point now where I literally sound so old when I say this but like I prefer a night in over a night out but I just like whilst it's January and work is like on the quieter side I guess a little bit I'm not really like going away as much I was like I want to make the most out of being in Manchester and like going out and like going to bars and stuff so we've decided that tonight we're going to do a northern quarter bar crawl which we've never actually done before normally I get asked this all the time right and I think I'm actually going to do a full like get ready with me for a night out video and I'm gonna give you guys so many Manchester recommendations because I'm asked it on a daily. Like in my Instagram DMs, everyone's always like, I'm coming to Manchester with my boyfriend, I'm coming to Manchester with my friends, like where should I go? And I feel like I've got so many places that I can recommend to you. So that will be in a video coming very, very soon and I'll link it all on my Instagram and stuff so you guys can see as well. But yeah, we don't really venture into the Northern Quarter as much. So I'm really excited to go and do that. We go there for like walks and for shopping, but for nights out, we always end up staying on Deansgate because that's like near where we live. So it's just easier for getting home. But I'm excited for like a bit of a different night tonight and I love the Northern Quarter because you don't have to wear heels. You can wear trainers and you'll get in everywhere which is just like my sort of night. Like I hate wearing heels. I will avoid wearing heels at every cost. So the fact that I'm going to go out in trainers tonight is very exciting. Did message Tia and I 
was like, babe, are you wearing a jacket or are you not? Because if you're not gonna, then I'm not gonna. If you will, then I will. I'm like, it's one of those things where it's minus temperatures, but we're gonna be in it together. So we're either both not gonna wear a coat or we'll both collectively choose to take coats. But it's gonna be me, Tia, Byron, and Callum and Callum. So yeah, very excited. I don't think I'm gonna film me getting ready now just purely because I am gonna do it for a full video and give you guys the full rundown of like my full night time. Like maybe I could do it for a date night routine. But right now I'm gonna carry on watching a film. I've got really random office Christmas party on. I don't know. I just like a comedy and I've been watching a lot of comedies recently. Had bridesmaids on yesterday and then now I'm having this on. So I'm gonna get ready whilst I'm watching off a Christmas party. But yeah, just go out of the shower. So I'm gonna moisturize and I don't know how to do my hair and my makeup tonight. I know what I'm wearing. I have a really nice outfit actually from JD London, but I don't know how to do my hair. I'm thinking up though because it's windy and I just can't be bothered to waste my time curling all my hair and then I step out the door for two minutes and it's straight again but there's no point and I'm ready I'm like low-key obsessed with this finished look I really really like it so I've done my hair this is just like my normal go-to night out hair style now it's super easy I actually did film a little TikTok tutorial of it so I will, that would have already be uploaded by the time you guys are watching this vid and then makeup haven't done a tutorial but if you want one I can do one and then my outfit is from Jaded London it's this gorgeous grey two-piece and this bit just folds over so it's a little bit low rise which I actually really like and then got this off the shoulder top and I've actually managed to wear a bra underneath it and it's not falling down the small wind for the big titty girls but yeah I'm very excited for this eve like I said we're going to northern quarter so everyone's gonna come here before and then we're gonna get an uber we're gonna have some pre's I think not anything too crazy also I've got my little burgundy bag I'm gonna wear some shoes that have got burgundy in but not heels I want trainers but I've got some playing cards thought if we could take some playing cards out like you can play loads of drinking games in a bar with playing cards so just a little what's in my bag this is like a massive bag for a night out by the way this is giving like mum bag I really should have bought the mini version of this that they sell on ego as well but also at the same time it fits on my shoulder it fits everything in it's easy but anyway we're gonna go out now we're gonna have some prayers and we're gonna go get drunk <laughs> I've got my vodka lemonade. This new camera is making me like move. So, that's it. Bye. Bye. We're back home, guys. My montage. I'm not very good at doing montages on this camera just yet. I'm still trying to figure out the zoom. It's a little bit more complicated <laughs> than my other camera. I'm also very drunk. What's the time? It's 1.17. Like, it's 1.17. Like we so We've got a McDonald's on the way. You know me. And we've got one fallen soldier in the bathroom. Why have I got no pants on but a jacket? And why is the door open when it's actually minus temperature? Byron, did you open the door? He opened the door. He opened now he's the door. The door. Did he you say no? No, he, he opened the door. Anyway, I'll show you the McDonald's when it comes. Yeah, it's coming in 18 <laughs> minutes. Look, is. Estimates of arrival is 1.35, so if you do that, that's 18 minutes. I'll be back in 18 minutes. <laughs> Guys, do you just Anna's vlog, right? Because obviously she's like McDonald's queen. Do you just not really get the fact that we don't have cheesy chips in the UK? That's literally all I've got to say. Have your vlog back? We are I've gonna get McDonald's. I'm gonna put my socks back on. <laughs> the socks we got it all it's baltic in here <laughs> look i'm actually freezing anyway mcdonald's is bending here it is after so long so hungry and i'm gonna end this vlog here like guys i'm enjoying my mcdonald's and i'm going straight to bed yeah.